Brandon Belt is not as the Jays take on the Twins next. Polanco all on the IL, but boy, they scored seven runs. Austin on the 4th of May when he gave up a career. Kevin Kiermaier is still taking care of that wrist. Chapman. Back. Now he is 5 for 13 against the Blue Jays this season. Her hand of Kevin Biggio and Juice way to sec double for Julian. And the number two hitter is Donovan Solano, who is DHing today. 3 1 pitch on the way. And that's inside of the knees for ball four. So the first home after the game tonight. Julian is going to score. Solano will be hit with the bag. And here's the guy who delivered the biggest hit of the game yesterday. Caught. And ball four. Didn't want to throw him a fastball, and that's going to load him up. And a swing and a miss. 0 and 1. Swinger and off the wall. Guns are going to score on a very low baseman. He didn't play yesterday, but he went four for four on Friday night. The 1 2 again. And that's grounded left side. Bichette's got it. The only play is to no sign of anybody going to the bullpen because the score is one thing. 0 oh, 2 again. And he got him. A swing and a miss to get Kepler for the first down. Picked up the RBI. So now Christian Vasquez, the catcher and number eight hitter for the. And a ground ball to third. Chapman on to Merrifield. Quick. And he starts Springer with a strike on the outside. Get through the left side. Terrific at bat for Springer. At home this year in this ballpark. And the ballpark has played like a pitcher's park. But he gets Bichette to end it with a good fastball away. One down is there. But it has been a long, long drop between home runs here. When he hits a home run. For a base hit. Some around a 39. The opposite fact to catch it is Springer will easily tag it to come into the five spot today. After hitting eighth in yesterday's game, but one for three days. And Varlin gets Varsho to chase upstairs to. And it has been a problem for him in the past. More than anything, when a run. What? Doubt enters into your mind. And then you become very tentative and. Fastball in there, 0 and 1. Ground ball to short. Bichette to Merrifield. Could be, guys, a combination of all of the above. Arden Fink this year, and there are games it's been five on Friday night, but certainly you just look at those Ron Better. And last year they had real droughts, especially I think first half of the season as well. Malley was sidelined and eventually had Tommy John surgery. So he got the call. And right now, they've got four of the regular offensive players out of the lineup. Carlos Correa. Alex Kirilov leading off the third for the Twins. Had an RBI double. The left center field back with room is hits in the end. It's of 127. He's a very good player. As Gosman gets a call that upsets Correa now for Trevor Larnick. Got him up to 98 to get him with a fastball. Gio. First center. Taylor backpedaling, but he's got room in the American League. As in third most allowed. As Springer. Chopped towards second. And Chapman. Rounded up the middle. Julian can't come. Got him to chase down and away. And you can see how frust. Back to Arden's report about Brandon Belt. So. Golf to very shallow center. Varsho come. It will be gone in the next couple of days. That's what the Blue Jays are hoping for. That's the best case scenario. And that hit him. Yeah, you could hear it. That just grazed vast. And a strike taken by Taylor, who grounded out his first. Ground ball to third. Chapman to the bag for one and across the end. His first at bat today. Hey! 
who lined out to center field his first time. Also in the AL Central and 133 hits against the Twins. And strike three called. So two down for Alejandro Kirk who lined up. He's also had three double plays turned behind him including one that was in the first. He's his eyes tell you what he's hit between third and short for Kirk. In left field today. Woo. Lost the bat and that got the catcher on the back. It was a good lesson for uh, for young Danny too, getting to understand how difficult it is left aboard. You can see from that graphic how the afternoon has gone for Kevin Gosman. Last time he threw a pitch. Fastball and he got him. Jillian didn't like. Walked and grounded into a double play. Is back run of the season to make it five right spot there for the fence. Kind of the same as the last one. You can't do more than he did. It was just we might get a better 2017 that happened. Jerry Davis was the umpire who threw him out. You know, Kevin Gosman. Field for a base hit. Ooh, in the first. Bullpen is up for the first time. They don't have to tell us right now. And for what it's worth, Francis was still in the clubhouse, still in the room about all of the options. And as Arden laid out for you there, because of the off day to move to that, and then they can do all kinds of things. Or a base hit for Royce Lewis. Correa will come. But kind of bigger picture, like ignoring the next turn, but bigger. Down more than three inches. So many different kinds of situations effectively this year. An update with Jamie Campbell. He added renovations here as well. Bottom five, and now it. Go to pitch into right for a base hit. It's interesting. It just made me think of the scout that signed me many, many years ago. Nonchalant. Yeah, I guess. But boy, as soon as you do one time, it comes back and bites you. Thing back then. You had an 881 OPS, hit 357 in 300. Time ago. Bichette sends a fly ball to Vigio is going to tap. Out to second. Julian has it to Correa. Was Vladdy to go to second. For Correa, that's just his third air of the season. The fence, it's. Right. Barshow's trying to bunt for a base hit. And he. With Merrifield looks at a strike. Deep in the hole at short. Correa's got a lot of arm. Up into shallow backpedaling. And, and he gets Vasquez to wave at one, one down. The boy team of the Braves. Lined into center. That's a base hit for Taylor. Well, Hatch tried the same thing, but this time Julian wouldn't swing at it. Runner goes. Swing and a miss. Throw down is not in time. But he'll have to deal with Kirilov as he puts Solano aboard. And on the clock, it, it is or it isn't. Rounded to third. This time, Moran gets him. Springer grounds one to short. Correa today has walked, struck out, and doubled. Merrifield, or Lucas rather, will in the first. And I don't think that hit him, but it bounces off. Got him. Waving at that breaking ball. He wasn't close. One down. And Kirk are thinking. Fastball, and he got him. Swing and a miss. Two down. 101. Espinal's got it and makes a very four. And a bouncer to third. Down to third, Lewis again. High offense for that big home run. And now Jax gets him swinging, two down. All right, a base hit. And Guerrero eats. 
Kirilov has room back of the bag and Fiona. A little false hustle there. That is a fair ball and a tri Got him. Two down. The ball ran to the bag, tagged third, and then threw across the diamond. You know, I've seen. Well, Arenado as a contemporary would be in the same, yeah. at the same level, Absolutely. right? So. Yep. Up on the run and throws very well. Diving stop, Biggio. And he feeds. Pip Batter. One last note or a couple of quick notes uh, while we're looking at the. Right, a base hit. Kind of your prototype scoring position. Two. Uh, yeah, I think they are all looking forward to an off day in Baltimore. Bright center. Fit. A huge hit for the. Pagan has it. And Bichette is retired. A bouncer to farm. Seven pitches to retire the side in order. And Solano is aboard on four. In the air to left. Backing up, but with root. The 2-2. Two -two. Slider grounded up the middle. Bichette's got it. And Throws him with a fastball.